To perform the Spring 2017 software and firmware updates, you'll need to connect a Windows PC to the ExpressCard 2000. You can connect the machine directly to a laptop with a Cat5e patch cable. On the ExpressCard 2000 touchscreen, go to Menu, Settings, TCP IP, then enter the two setup passwords. If you're using DHCP settings and the checkbox for Obtain Automatically is checked, then at this point you'll want to uncheck it. On the other hand, if you're using a static or fixed IP address, you'll need to record the network address information that you see here on the left. These are your current settings. Take a picture of them or write them down so that you'll be able to re-enter them after the update. Once you've recorded the settings on the left, you can clear the fields on the right using the keypad. For the IP address, we'll enter 192.168.1.2. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. For the default gateway, put 192.168.1.1. The DNS is 8.8.8.8, .8 and the alternate DNS is 4.4.4.4. Hit Apply, and you'll see the new values are displayed on the left. Those are your current settings. Tap Status to return to the main screen. On your laptop, unzip the package mtechupdate.zip. You'll see there are two folders, Part 1 and Part 2. Before we can upload these to the EC, we'll need to change some IP settings to connect to the machine. The first step is to disable the Wi-Fi adapter. Go to your control panel, network and sharing, click the wireless network and click disable. Next, right click local area connection, select properties, Select IPv4, click Properties, and change the setting to use a custom IP address. Here, you'll enter the IP address as 192.168.1.1. The subnet mask is the same as before, 255.255.255.0. For the gateway, 192.168.1.2. Click OK to close the other windows. Next, open up Internet Explorer and type in https colon slash slash ec dash then the serial number, which in my case is B35879A. Hit Return. If the page takes a long time to load or it times out, another option you can try is to enter the device IP address instead. So we'll type in https colon slash slash 192.168.1.2 You may see a warning about the page's security certificate. Click Continue, and then you should see this page. In the menu on the left, click the link at the bottom that says Software Upload. Click Browse, then navigate to the folder you unzipped earlier. Open Part 1 and select mtechupdate.cab. Click Open, then click Send. The page will display a confirmation message, and the EC2000 will automatically restart twice. Once the EC is booted back up and ready, go back to your browser and refresh the page. In the left-hand menu, click Upload Status. The page should display a success message. Next, go back to the ExpressCard touchscreen. Go to Menu, Settings, Load Firmware. Enter the setup passwords, then tap Update Software. Tap Yes, then press the Status button to return to the main screen. To perform the second update, we'll need to follow the same process we just completed, only this time we'll select the Part 2 cab file. Go back to the PC and type in the same address as before, either the device serial number or its IP address. Once again, click Software Upload, then Browse, and this time navigate to the folder called Part 2. Select mtechupdate.cab, click Open, then click Send. The machine will once again reboot. Once it's back on and shows a ready status, refresh the page in your browser. Click Upload Status, 
and you should see a success message. We'll then go back to the Express Card screen and navigate to Menu, Settings, Load Firmware. Enter the setup passwords, then tap Update Software. Tap Yes to run the update. In the Firmware Upgrade section, select Controller, then select the firmware from the list that reads 3305-0821-f03.hex. Once it's selected, press Download. The firmware update process will take about five minutes. Once completed, the screen will display the confirmation message, Finish loading the firmware. The Express Card system will reset. Once it's ready, go to the Help menu and check to make sure the version information is correct. The mtechutility.exe should be 1.2.5.4. The controller firmware should read 3305-0821-F03. Disconnect the Express Card from your PC and connect it to its regular network outlet. Go back to Menu, Settings, TCP IP, and if you're using a DHCP connection, check the Obtain Automatically checkbox. If you're using a static or fixed IP address, you'll need to re-enter the settings that you saved earlier. Tap Apply, then press Status to return to the main screen.